Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to a video that I'm very excited about. I've been waiting, I've been waiting and waiting for my shipment to get to me and it is finally here. I have got the new set, I have got Silver Tempest and I am so excited to open this up with you guys. I have not been watching openings or anything of this so this is almost a blind unboxing. I say almost because the alternate art cards have been spoiled for me at least I think maybe actually only a few of them if there's more than three in the set then I don't know all of them but I know the unknown the Reggie Drago and then obviously the Lugia alt art if there's another alt art like I said I don't know about it I don't know what the commons look like the uncommons the full arts I'm gonna assume there's a full art Lugia this set is apparently all about Lugia for the most part and I'm just I'm so pumped to open this up with you guys this looks like or I, I guess I can't say it looks like it's gonna be a great set. I just have a feeling it's gonna be a great set. I don't know. Maybe it's because I love Lugia so much, but like this set, I just have hopes. The Alolan Vulpix on the side, so cute. I am just, I'm, I'm so excited. It feels like just yesterday, only yesterday, that we were opening up Lost Origin for the last time. I don't know why I decided to take on that voice to say that, but it really does. It I, This came so quickly. It feels like it simultaneously took forever and it also came super quickly. Okay, we are starting off on a good note, a good code card. This is exciting. Did I just knock my camera? I don't know, but there we go. Fixed it. Let's see if we can start off. There is something in the back there. It might just be a V card. I'm not trying to peek. It's just, that's what the cards are. Okay, Cassie, you haven't looked at the set yet. Look at the cards. All right, Matang, look at this. Toxapex playing in the water. Very cute, very pretty artwork. We've got Lance, okay. Of course, we also have the trainer gallery to look forward to. I'm excited to see what cards are in there. Look at this adorable Petalil. This Litten, this Litten. Why are you so scared, baby? Oh, I didn't know I want to take care of you. We've got a very epic looking Murkrow. We've got a Rotom. We have got Right off the bat, we've got a Radiant card, okay. Is there two or three Radiants in this set? I actually don't know. Uh, but this one, I feel like I have seen this card, I don't know, but either way, really pretty looking. I really like that. I mean, I love these Radiant cards in general, but uh, yeah, Radiant Serena looks really nice. And then a V card, wow, what a start with a skunk. <laughs> I hope this box isn't going to be skunky, stinky, but you know, it is what it is. We started off with a double banger, so this pleases me greatly. <laughs> Look at the Alolan Vulpix, so cute. And we actually have snow here in Minnesota. I cannot tell you guys the last time we have had actual snow for Thanksgiving. When I film, when I am filming this, it's a week before Thanksgiving and uh, we have actual snow on the ground. Like, don't get me wrong, we've had plenty of Thanksgivings recently where there have been like little flurries and stuff, but nothing sticks. We have had snow stuck to the ground for like at least a week now. Oh my God, look at that drag cloak. Look, with a little baby on his head. <laughs> Adorable. Look at that beautiful lantern. We've got a Noibat, a sand dial. Look at the Togedemaru, so cute. Uh, but yeah, the snow, it, it feels appropriate for this set. Oh, stop. <laughs> if I could frame that and put that on my wall, I would. That's adorable. Marini, we've got a reverse sand dial, and then a Miss Magius. All right, for a non-hollow rare. It's just, oh, it's so fun, Silver Tempest, opening up a new set. I love that I don't have any of these cards, so I don't have to sit here the whole time just saying, I would love to get something I don't already have. I'd love to pull a full art or an alt I mean, I still feel that way, but like, we have opportunities for even these non-hollow rares to be very exciting because 
because I need them to complete my binder, which of course I will be doing a build my binder video. Don't you worry. Oh my, I could barely see the Pokemon in that. We've got Toxicroak, Professor Laventon. He was from the Arceus games, right? That's Swirlix again. Marini, Indeedy looking so cute. We've got a little Clay Bebe, Ball Toy, Sun Kern, you look so happy. We have got a Haunch Crow for our reverse, and then we have got a Keldeo showing off his butt. And now we can move on in to the next pack. So I have no idea what the pull rates have been for this set. Have people been lucky? Has Pokemon been nice to us and they've upped the pull rates? Like I said, that would be very nice. Sorry, itchy eyeball. But now that I'm four packs in and I've only gotten one pack with a hit in it, I'm thinking maybe pull rates are still as bad as ever, but Brandon, can you turn it around? Look at that Altaria, so cute. Venonat, I'm so glad you're protecting yourself from the rain, buddy. Sekio coming through with a beautiful artwork. Ponyta, beautiful artwork. We've got a cute little Ralts, cute little Spinda causing some mayhem. Pikachu with some other electric rodents in the background. Cute. We have got an Arachnid for our reverse and then we've got a very sleepy incineroar this i mean it's obviously the cat nature but also the furry in him he looks a little he's too human for me i don't love incineroar i love litten i love the baby of that form uh heck i don't even mind tora cat because they stayed cats and then he had to turn into a wrestling furry cat and i'm just like mmm Mmm, not for me. <laughs> not for me. Um, but let's see, maybe we can get a trainer gallery out of this one. Yes, yeah, very cute. Oh, Raichu looking super cute. I love you, baby. Dratini looking, is this just the set of cuteness? I'm surprised there's not like a lot more snow and whatnot in this. I guess, I don't know. Uh, Indeedy for a reverse, and then a melodic for a non holo rare. I get, I don't know, the look of the set looks very snowy, very tundra, and then these Pokemon are just kinda nowhere near a tundra. <laughs> Ugh, runny nose, okay, we are back to it. Wonderful, let's see what we can get. Yeah, I really, I don't think I know any of the trainer gallery cards. Maybe once I see one, I'll recognize them. And like, obviously I know, cause like these sets in English are comprised of, oh my God. Can I have you? Can, can the artist send me that one? <laughs> yes. Uh, but you know, the English sets are comprised of two Japanese sets, but still, I'm just a little confused on the theming here. <laughs> We've got a reverse ball toy, and then, ooh, there we go, a beautiful hollow Articuno. That looks amazing. Love Kimura, the artist. Oh my gosh. I just do. I love these soft, colored, pencil-y looking artists, where they look like, you know, they're from a storybook or something. So cute and pretty. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure which two Japanese sets comprised this one. So obviously it was one or one z that had nothing to do with the tundra. But then why did Pokemon decide for English to call it Silver Tempest and make it tundra-like? That's just strange to me. Very, very electrical mouse. Okay, I love it. Let's see, Imolga, so cute. Who's in the background there? Oh, a little Rebombi, cute. Meditite, Durant, Ralts. Oh, an adorable little Fletchling. Yeah, trainer gallery time. All right, we've got Passivian here and whoever that's supposed to be, but awesome. We've got a trainer gallery card. Y'all know I love these. I just love the interaction between the human and the Pokemon and just seeing the Pokemon's personality really come out in these cards. And then we've got an adorable Victini there for our non holo rare, but yay, trainer gallery. I I wish I knew. Um, is there, because I'm trying to think, way back when, when they started putting the gold cards in the trainer gallery, 
I feel like I remembered seeing all of them. Like there was the set of two Urshifus that were gold. There was the two Calyrexes that were gold. There's the Pikachu and the Mew. And then I think there was a gold Rayquaza. And then I don't remember who the other one was. Oh my God, Love Disc, look out. Protect yourself. Um, so yeah, I don't remember, but maybe there's a gold Rayquaza in here. That would be, I'd be totally cool with pulling that. A Schmeargol. We've got a gold bat for our reverse. And then a Kling Klang for a non-hollow rare. Oh boy, my friends. We're getting, we're getting close-ish. I don't know, maybe we're only like a fourth of the way through. Hopefully our hits pick up. I hope this is not what the pull rates are for this set. We've had it rough. We have had it rough with Sword and Shield era i feel like maybe there were a couple sets where like it wasn't so abysmal like i don't feel like vivid voltage was too bad maybe i'm making that up but either way scarlet and violet can we please get some good pull rates going again cutie going again i say that like i've ever experienced it but reverse brandon and then reggie lucky v all right i will take it it's a hit i don't have it i don't love these reggies from galar <laughs> but that's okay it, it is what it is. I'm sure someone loves them. I feel like I'm that way with a lot of the new regions, especially when they come out with, you know, like the region specifics or the region alternates of Pokemon, you know, like the Galarian Articuno or something. I feel like I either really love them or I really hate them. And the Reggies, aw, Sigilyph, it's been a while since I've seen you. But yeah, I feel like either I really love them or I really just am like, could live without type of a thing. But let's see, Vulpix, stop strutting your stuff, so cute. Dreepy, what's wrong, buddy? What did Komia do to you? Hopefully you're just sleepy, Dreepy. Oh my goodness. And then a Delphox for a non hollow rare. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I hope pull rates aren't going to be too. I mean, I would never want pull rates to be abysmal. That's no fun for anybody. But uh, I don't know, Pokemon. What are you doing? What are you doing? You obviously don't have to give us a hit in every pack. That would take away the fun. But like. Maybe you could throw us a bone. Uh, let's see, we've got a worker. We love buff women here. Fungus, Howlucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, back at it again. This Swirlix, adorable. Ooh, we've got a V-Star. I don't know, I'm gonna assume there's a Lugia. Maybe the Regieleckis, or the Regis, Regidrago, Regieleckis. I don't know who the V-Stars are gonna be, but let's see, three, two, one. Lugia! My baby! I love Lugia. Lugia over Ho-Oh, I'm sorry, but always, always Lugia. Love Lugia. Oh my god. I wore the blue and the light, the blue and the white Lugia. I did this for you, but I'm so happy you noticed my efforts. Ooh. I mean, I don't think it ever means anything, but like pulling the V-Star and then maybe that means the Aldar's gonna be in here too. We're just gonna have a big old Lugia box. <laughs> It'd be nice, but I really don't think it means anything. Cause like when I pulled the, I actually don't even remember. When I pulled the Charizard alt art, the beautiful one from Brilliant Stars, that one, was that from a booster? I don't remember, but I still haven't pulled the Charizard V-Star is what I'm trying to say. So anywho. I don't think it correlates at all. Phoebus, I can't do the Phoebus phase. You're sleeping. Oh, little Fampy, cute. I still have a hard time saying Fampy. I want it, it's Fampy. That's how I remember it from childhood, darn it. Uh, gym trainer and then, <laughs> okay, show off. Tell me about it. Well, anywho, a little stretchy stretch for a hollow. Yeah, you guys should let me know. Have you been enjoying Silver Tempest? I know I'm a little late here in showing off my booster box and whatnot, but that was just, the, that's how it shipped to me. So, you know, it is what it is, but I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Have you all been opening up Silver Tempest? How are you liking the artworks? I mean, they are really just so jolly and happy in this set, I feel like, all of the Pokemon. Uh, let's see. 
we rarely ever see you. One of those Pokemon we just kind of forget exists. We've got a reverse Torah Cat, and we've got a lovely Gardevoir out in the garden for a non-hollow rare. But I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Have you gotten any of the big pulls? I haven't even, like I said, since this is a, a blind unboxing and whatnot, I haven't been looking at things. I have no idea. Obviously, prices are inflated in terms of buying singles just because it's the newest set. So uh, don't don't waste it. wait for them to come down. Wait for the prices to come down. But, oh, meow stick, look how cute. Oh, there's some snow. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea what the cards are worth in this set. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be like, you know, the last set where something like the Lugia alt art is gonna be at least 150, but uh, how lucha, and then an epic looking talent flame. Okay, let's see, let's see, what can we get in this next pack? I don't know, I mean, we won't know until I open it up, so let's find out. Boof. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying Silver Tempest. We'll see. I'm sure they'll start putting out collection boxes and stuff for it soon. I myself, cute, <laughs> haven't gotten any yet. Uh, but I have seen it in stores and I have resisted buying them. But, or at least, you know, like just blister packs and whatnot. Beldum, Spinda, very cute for our reverse. And then Cobalion, okay for our non-hollow rare. We are almost done with the left side here, my friends. I am hoping the hits pick up, because as you've been seeing, I mean, we have, listen, I'm very excited about getting that Lugia V-Star, <laughs> but I don't feel like we're getting to, I have gotten more bad code cards than good. Is this how it's been for everyone else opening up the set? Yikes, yikes if that's the case. I mean, it just, it makes me sad, you know? It makes me wanna not open up Pokemon cards like this and just buy singles, which I mean, takes away from it. Takes away from the experience. We've got a Clang for a reverse, and then a Hisuian Braviary for a non hollow rare. But either way, you know, I guess it is what it is. This is just the way of the world. Pokemon gets to decide how they do these things and we have no say in it. I mean, technically we do if we as customers just like all stopped buying it, but that would be an impossible, impossible task <laughs> to get every single Pokemon lover to protest. It just, it would never happen. It's people just don't work that way. All right, let's see what we can get in this pack, my friends. Oh, Sleepy Phoebus, you evolved into a lovely melodic for a reverse rare and then a crocodile all right for a hollow rare excellent now last pack on the left alolan vulpix what you got what you got what can you do for me right now i don't know time will tell let's see okay okay we're gonna end this side on a hit that's exciting that's exciting hopefully it's just one that i don't already have but i'm i'm waiting on Ooh, i see something in the back i don't know maybe it's just a v card but can we get a full art full art lugia i'm gonna assume is a thing let's see mischievous whalemer murkrow a rotom for a reverse and then definitely a v card let's see we've got a mawile v with a pouty slap <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? All right, let's pick things up, my friends. Silver Tempest. Let's see, hopefully the right side has good things in store for us. Let's find out and let's find out together. All right, we are starting on a hit. This is hopefully good news, but I feel like we started the left side off with a hit as well. And then, well, you, you all saw how that ended up. <laughs> Sleepy Stone Journer, how cute. Golbat, are you singing a serenade there? Oh, I don't know who you are, but you are lovely looking. Very cute. Pikachu, a beautiful ponyta, adorable Venonat. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> There's our reverse, and then, oh, we've got a full art. Oh no, is this who I think it is? Ew, ew, I hate this Pokemon. He's so, I'm sorry. I know it's a starter, 
but I hate this Pokemon. It's so ugly. Ew, no. I refuse to believe that that is the full art that I pull from this box. Ew, no. Ugh. And of course, now that I have expressed my displeasure, Pokemon's gonna be like, all right, fine, the rest of your box is gonna be poopy. I'm sorry, I just, I can't lie to you guys. I, does anyone else, like, he is in the realm of Pokemon, like, Bruxish and stuff. Like, I just, I hate them. They're so ugly. Yeah, even Linton's scared. Oh, what do we have behind it? Oh, so cute, this Altaria, yes. And is it, like, Lysa or something? I forget her name, but she's so cute, too. Fluffy cloud bird of delight. You are adorable. I love you so much. Thank you for turning things around. Oh my gosh. See, trainer gallery is just, ugh, those cards. They're so good. I, ugh, trainer gallery, trainer gallery. We'll see if they continue on with it in Scarlet and Violet. What, there's supposed to be one more set for Sword and Shield here, and then we're done? I, I forget. It's, it's a lot to keep up with, but uh, especially during the holidays when I've got a million other things on my brain. But let's see. I mean, I'm sure they're going to end it on a bang, right? Last sets of the series usually do. And then, ooh, Rapidash. Very nice for our hollow. <sighs> but time will tell. Let's take a peek, see. How do you think they're going to end it? I mean, I'm trying to think. It's usually like, how? because how did they end Sun and Moon? What was, was it Hidden Fates? No, I forget. But X and Y, wasn't it Evolutions? I mean, I feel like usually it's a banger. You would think I'd be able to remember these things, but uh, either way. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Can we get more than just that one full art? I hope so. Maybe even an alt art. That'd be nice. That would make up for it. But let's see. Sleepy Phoebus and then a Verizian. Very cool. For a non holo rare. Now let's continue on. Let's see how this goes. Does anyone, surely, everyone has those Pokemon where they just have that visceral reaction where it's just like, ew, you know, and you just, you can't, you just can't. Like, why is he even in this set? Like, who asked for him? What does he have to do with the Silver Tempest? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be so salty about it. I got a full art. This is exciting. <laughs> but, um, anyways, let's see what we can... Duosian, so cute. Reading with some coffee and then a V card. Let's see. Ursaluna V. Okay, there we go. Out in the snow. Very nice. Yeah, because I'm trying to even think lately. Have it has it still been kind of like you get three hits in a booster box in terms of like full arts and stuff? I don't know. Does the V Star count as a full art now? Are there any V Maxes in this set? Or have they completely phased those out? I feel like there was talk a little while back that they were phasing out rainbows as well but I feel like rainbows have still been a thing I have no idea what the gold I'm sure there's a gold Lugia V star Ooh, I'm sure that's gorgeous but let's see what we can do behind this Solosis we have got this guy Archeops <laughs> him and his original form have never been my absolute favorite, that's for sure. Again, kind of just Pokemon that I forget about. Like those ones, uh, like the Tyrantrum, isn't that his name? The dinosaur one? I don't know, I feel like it's probably just because they were gens that I didn't grow up with, but at the same time, now that I know all of these backlogged Pokemon that I didn't grow up with, I feel like they're still the ones that are just a little more forgettable than others, especially because I feel like Pokemon just doesn't ever really center around them. Like that emolgim, 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 whatever it's called. <laughs> Ooh, cutie pie! We've got a reverse rare, and then a Noivern. Cute, cute. But yeah, I just, you know, Pokemon focuses on different Pokemon. That is what it is. I guess I don't mind, especially when I never really cared for the Pokemon in the first place, but I feel like sometimes it can, you know, turn it around. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like it's, it's not that Pokemon gives Trubbish and Garbodor love, I don't think, but I feel like Pokemon likes 
their trash Pokemon. And it kind of made it so that I liked them too. I mean, the first time I saw them, I was like, disgusting, stupid. Why did anyone ever create those things? And then they grew on me, like the trash they are and the trash that I can be. Uh, but either way, let's see, worker and then, and this one too, you know, I just, I forget about these ones. They're fine. They're perfectly fine Pokemon. I just, eh. <laughs> I'm sure they're someone's favorite. Isn't that, isn't that a saying or a thing? Every single Pokemon I'm sure has a fan out there. Even the more forgettable ones, there's a collector of every kind. Right? I would like to think so. That every Pokemon, there's someone out there that considers them their absolute favorite. Like even Venomoth. I'm sure someone adores Venomoth not me but you know there's got to be someone all right Murkrow or Maldo for a reverse rare <gasps> it's gold no it's not it's a rainbow <laughs> colors Cassie colors this has colors I don't know what's it gonna be one two three I mean <laughs> listen it's a rainbow I'm gonna take it looks pretty creepy like a creepy spider light bulb. I think that's probably why I don't care for Regieleki. But hey, double banger pack. We will take it. A hit's a hit, right? We've gotta, we've gotta be happy with the hits that we get, right? We do, especially because this is our first opening. Come on, it's always fun, our first opening. We get to see all the new artworks, we get to be happy because I don't have these cards, and just, we get to hang out together. We get to hang out, open some Pokemon cards. How could we not enjoy that? I would love to be able to get one more alt, or one more full art, obviously if it's an alt art, great, but one more full art and one more trainer gallery, I would hope, from my packs. Let's, oh, speak of the devil. We've got a full arty looking one. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's behind it. Ooh, Arcanine back there. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> the place can be Max and what's her face? I, I can never remember all of Ash's girlfriends from the show. Um, I'm sure she's probably one of the trainers in the game that you play as too, but it's not May, is it? Is that the blue haired? I, I don't remember. But she's surely clutching onto Blaziken's leg there. Oh, that's hilarious. I really don't care about Blaziken either, but I know fan favorite and that card is hilarious. Very, very, I, I just, like I said, I love these cards and these artworks where the Pokemon and the trainer, Pokemon and the human, whatever you're going to want to say, are interacting. I just, I think it's so cute. They're always so playful and just, I just, listen, I'm a sucker for the artwork. That's why I love collecting Pokemon cards above all else. Obviously there's the adrenaline rush and the luck and the this and the that, but when it comes down to it, I, the nostalgia, comes down to the artwork, because I'm certainly not nostalgic about the luck I had as a kid. I had no luck as a kid. <laughs> I think I have said this before. Cute little Togedemaru. Ooh, and then another V card. Oh. Yes, of course it's an Arita artwork. Oh my god, yes. Lugia! Oh. So gorgeous. Mm! Oh, we love to see it. Okay, um, what was I saying? Something about my luck as a kid. Uh, I'm sure I've said this before, but I had no luck as a kid. And whenever my brother and I would get Pokemon cards, you know, for doing our chores or whatever, my mom and dad were just treating us, uh, my brother would always pull hollows and I never would. And whenever he would get a duplicate hollow, my mom and dad would usually make him give it to me. <laughs> to make me feel better because I just had garbage luck as a kid. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much any of my old hollows that I still have. They were for my brother. <laughs> and likely not due to his own free will. <laughs> but I wish my brother still had all of his Pokemon cards. He claims he still does. I think he sold them. I think he sold them a long time ago. But hey, I would love if he can ever find them someday because he collected like baseball cards and all that kind of stuff too and I think he still has those. I just, we've never been able to find his Pokemon cards and like I said, I would love to because I know that he had much better luck than I ever did. <laughs> so it'd be really fun to see the cards that he pulled. I don't think we ever pulled like the big boys, you know, Charizard or anything. Maybe he did and I just didn't know about it. But uh, let's see, what are we gonna get? 
Fungus? Yes, another one! Breaks in for a trainer gallery. So cute going shopping. I've always liked this trainer. I thought she's always been pretty, pretty sassy and cute. And then we've got Terrakion. Giving some love to the... Are they legendaries? Are they... Uh, why can't I think of what they're called? Not the legendary Pokemon, but the, the, the mythical, the... You know what I mean, how there's the different subsets. Uh... <laughs> But like Cobalion, Verizian, all those, um, either way, giving some love to them, I guess, in the hollow slot, or the non, no, they're hollows. Uh, low punny, regenerative energy, oh, this Dreepy just makes me so sad. Adorable Chimeco, love it, adorable Fletchling, I like seeing Pokemon happy, darn it. Let's see, Brakeson, again, there we go, and then... Hi, sweet and Lilligant. Trying to ice skate, but I, I believe you're in the grass there, my dear. Oh, maybe that works for you. You are a grass Pokemon after all. So, it looks like we've got four packs left, my friends. Can we pull anything else? Any more trainer galleries would be great. A full art would be great. An alt art would be even better. <laughs> But let's see, my friends. I mean, the three alt arts that I know of, obviously the Lugia, but even, like I said, the Unknown and the Reggie Drago, they're really good looking. I mean, when has an alt art never or not been good looking? They just are so fabulous. So cute, that little Fennekin. Um, but let's see. Let's see what we can do. We've got a Whale Lord for reverse and a V Star. Okay, who do we got? Who do we got? Unknown! You have a V Star! Awesome! <laughs> Cute! Oh my god, and they spelled out V Star? V S T A R, V Star, unknowns. Oh, stop. Stop, that's so cute. I love it. Yes, very nice. Okay, I do. I wonder if they're considering V Star's full arts as hits, you know, in the boxes. Like I said, I kind of, I kind of miss the days where it was the actual full arts, but I guess, I don't know, V-Stars, they're definitely harder to pull, I feel like, than V-Maxes ever were, but I also guess it depends on the set, because, uh, do I need to bring up Evolving Skies? Oh, hello, Dawn fan! This must be a pretty big set. Yeah, 195. I was gonna say, we're starting, we're still seeing cards like Swablu, have I pulled you yet? Still pulling cards that I, Buneary, I don't think I've pulled you yet, you know, cards that I haven't pulled yet. So, cool. Matang, and then random Zygarde. <laughs> like I said, we are a Pokemon that I forget exist. <sighs> it happens, it happens. But let's see, two packs left, my friends. I don't know that I've ever, no, surely, I've, I've definitely gone through a booster box and not gotten every common and uncommon card. It's rare, but it does happen, that's for sure. So let's see what we can do. Like that Crocorock, have I pulled that yet? Let's find out, my friends. Let's see if we can get a trainer gallery out of this pack and a, or a non holo rare that I don't already have. Okay, there we go, Spinarak, and then there we go, Frostlass, with the gym leader in the background. Very cute. Now, last pack is gonna be Regieleki here. <laughs> Let's see, I pulled your rainbow. Let's see if you've got anything else in store, huh? Uh, uh, let's find out together, my friends. Boop! We do have a chance. We do have a chance. Let's see if we can get an alt art. Let's see if we can do it and we can do it together. It would be nice. It would be very, very nice. But, Sunkern, let's find out together. Ball toys, little clay baby. Indeedy, Clink, Petalil. A Wallace and then mm -mm, but a Dragapult very nice from a lovely artist oh what a gorgeous gorgeous hollow I love Dragapult father of the year so cute <laughs> who's ready for a recap a semi-decent recap look at that we got quite the chunk of a stack there so let's see my friends what we got. Let's take a look back. We got quite a few reverse rares. We did, so that's always good to get our binder started. 
<laughs> quite a few. We got three Cassie. That's really not that many. Um, we got a handful of hollows. <laughs> We did. I think we got like five or something. So that's exciting. Definitely get the binder going. And then, okay, no, we're still on the hollows. That Articuno is probably my favorite. We got one radiant card. Like I said, I don't remember how many radiants, or I really have no idea how many radiants are in this set. So Radiant Serena, we will take it. It looks great. We got quite a few V cards, I feel like. So that's good, good for the binder. Uh, obviously my favorite one is going to be the Lukia V. It is gorgeous. So, so good. Oh, Arita, you never let us down. Uh, we got a few trainer gallery cards, which is great. I love the Altaria, and I mean, I love them all. And then that that Blaziken VMAX, so funny. I love that one a lot. We got two V stars, we got the Unknown, and we got the Lugia, which is great. Really, that's gotta be the star pull of this box for sure. I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen, but hey, we got a full art and we also did get a rainbow card. So, not completely awful, right? I mean, like I said, I haven't seen other people opening up their boxes and stuff yet, because I kind of, I don't know, it, I wanted to do this one blind for whatever reason. Uh, so I don't know what the luck has been with everyone else with these cards. So I'm just gonna consider myself lucky. Like I said, that I got a couple of Lugias and I am excited to start putting my binder together. I will definitely, I suppose I won't do a binder showing in this video because I'm going to do a separate video as I've been doing on building a binder so you'll be able to see these cards get put into a binder through that so look out for that video and otherwise you can just let me know if you think I got lucky let me know if you've been opening up Silver Tempest and what your luck has or has not been how have the pull rates been and just let me know anything else you want to let me know in those comments down below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!